In this video, we're going to take a look at using Tanium to detect unwanted network activity. We're going to take a look at a few alerts that are generated whenever this occurs so that you know instantly when you have policy violations. Our signal is very simple in its definition. We're really only looking for, uh, and we're going to deploy this signal to our corporate network in the 0.0, .0 segment. And we're looking for any activity, network activity that goes to our 1.0, which is our OT network. So the signal really is looking for any process that's um, from our corporate network, any process that communicates to our OT network. Taking a look at our first um, alert that we have from a system called Skynet. We take a look at the uh, alert details under signal match information here at the top. We see the remote IP address is um, a machine in our operations network, this 1.1 uh, address. And we see the machine that accessed it from our office environment is this uh, 0.101 address uh, of report 3389, of course, which is a violation of policy. Taking a look at our next example, we have the executable Firefox that was uh, accessing um, our uh, operations network. Again, it's a machine on the inside in our, in our office environment, and that also violates our policy. So as I've demonstrated here today, it's very easy for you to enforce your corporate policy through receiving real-time alerts whenever the violation occurs. The signal definitions are highly flexible. It's quickly and easily written so that you can uh, define activity from different parts of your network's perspective. Then you use labels to apply those signals to the appropriate environment. So you could write signals for your uh, office environment where you don't have network connectivity to your um, operations environment and vice versa, you can write signals that you apply into your operations environment that let you know when somebody accesses your corporate environment. And of course, the sky's the limit. You can also write signals for your DMZ if you don't want people uh, that are working in your DMZ uh, to reach into your corporate environment. Um, if that's a violation of your policy, then you can uh, set up an alert that way.